Welcome to the channel, human. I just wanted to give you a warning because in today's day and age, you have a lot of weak-minded, sensitive humans that cannot handle anything, especially if it goes against what they believe in or what they've been programmed to believe based on social media and the monster that is Hollywood. Hollywood does not care about black people. They don't care about us at all. They will pretend to care about us when it suits them, when it is time for them to make money. They will use us for agenda and woke material. They will call upon us to do tokenized versions of established white characters like what you see on screen here. And they continue to do stuff like this. It's goofy. They don't respect black people enough to give us our own characters as in new characters or allow them to play characters that have been established in various forms of lore. Instead, they want to give us hand-me-down stuff. This is not acceptable. Also, they like to do slave movies over and over and over and over again. The same old stuff. This is what they do. And I'm not surprised that a lot of humans eat this up. But nowadays, you don't really have a lot of humans that agree with what they've been doing in Hollywood. It's just that they don't have the spine to say anything. The humans that are on Twitter that don't actually care about life or anything else in it, they will make a lot of noise, but they're not about it when it happens. Time and time again, we are exposed to this sort of silliness. And they expect black people to like it. And if we don't, we are a coon, you know, Uncle Tom, there's something wrong with us. I am not so desperate to see myself on screen in movies and shows that I'm just willing to accept anything they throw my way. That is not how I think. I've never thought like that. I don't care if your character is black, white, Asian, Hispanic. If your character is done properly, if your character is written well, if it works within the context of a particular story in relation to other characters and so on, I will gravitate towards that character. Just because they're black doesn't mean I'm going to like them. Just because they're not black doesn't mean I'm going to dislike them. I care about characters and story more than the ethnicity, than a gender, than a sexual preference. Whatever your politics may be, whatever side of the equation you're on, I don't care about these things. But if you're pulling from a source material, I want you to honor it. I want you to respect it. I don't want you to race swap and gender swap. It sets things back. It sets a dangerous precedent. The idea that you can do whatever you want and humans don't know or they don't care. A lot of times they don't care and that's because they don't have any passion towards this stuff. Again, willing and ready to accept anything because it's different. Because it's new. But in the case of what I'm talking about, it's not different and it's not new. It's more of the same. They just might look slightly different. They might be in different things. I love black people. I want them to succeed. But if you keep complaining about the stuff that you shouldn't, you keep focusing on the wrong thing. If you continue to just go, oh, yeah, it's awesome when they do race swaps, then they're going to continue to give us the stupid material that they've been giving us. The clowns in Hollywood don't care about actual diversity. They care about making money. They're a business first. If they can make money, that encourages them to do what they do. If it doesn't make them money or something proves to not be lucrative, they step away from it, whether it be entirely or, or they'll fall back on what they were initially going to do. It's very obvious if you just pay attention. The patterns are there. 
there is a consistency with what they've been doing these last handful of years. And me being a black man, I'm not going to be quiet about it because I'm not going to just be like, oh, yeah, that's great. That's OK. No, it's not. It's bullshit. But again, when I watch movies and shows, I watch them based off of the characters and the story. Sometimes the actors or the actress can play a factor. But a lot of times I just want a good story with good characters. That's all I ask for. If you're adapting from something, be respectful, be faithful. Don't change it. You know, at least not the characters. You know, you can maybe tweak up the circumstances a little bit. But leave stuff the way it is. This way you don't alienate and piss off fans. Even though they try to cater to individuals who do not care or know about established lore. It still doesn't make it the right thing to do. And if you are a respected and trusted brand within Hollywood... You don't need to do any of this goofy shit of changing characters because you already have your audience. If you already have your audience, there is a responsibility to show them that things can work. To show them the right way to do it without all these different crazy angles of you checking off boxes. For you just to gain the approval of others, but you really don't care about those that approve of you because you did it. On a false notion. Hollywood is full of clowns. I've come to understand this. But I love to watch shows and movies. Gone are the days when films and shows are pure. And you don't have to worry about some human with blue and purple hair forcing their politics onto the characters. The golden age of films and movies is gone. We will still get good shows and movies. Here and there, but not to the degree of what it used to be. A lot of stuff is just them rehashing stuff and putting some fucked up woke spin on it. And that's sad to me. But your eyes have to be open. Common sense is not common, ladies and gentlemen. These clowns will perform tricks and they will see what humans cheer at. And when they hear those cheers, they'll be like, oh. It's okay for us to can't con you know continue in this direction because they like it. But they fail to see that a lot of these actions are unwanted and unnecessary. There's only conversations because they did that to themselves. They're the ones that put it out there. If you don't put it out there, there will be less conversation. If you put it out there, there will be more conversations. But don't worry, if you look hard enough, you can always find something you like, but that's just it. You gotta look, because all the other bullshit is constantly in the way. Terrence out.